Hello there. I wanted to show you a few things that you can embed into Behance to make it uh, to better show off a lot of different types of projects you might have. So here's a drafty draft Behance project. You can see at the top here, there's actually a photo grid. That's just one of these options over here where you can kind of put images across in a slideshow type of effect. Um, then I just got a couple other photos in here I did at a previous time. Uh, what I want to show you today is adding in a sketch fab uh, 3D model. This is a really good way to show off uh, 3D work because it allows a user to uh, kind of go in and rotate and pan. And actually, this whoever this user was, um, they've added like uh, little notes too, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, lots of control. I can go full screen. It's basically the uh, sketch fab embedded. Um, we also got an embedded video. And then I'm going to show you how to embed an o Adobe XD prototype. Let's do Adobe XD first. So let's go over there and this just a tiny little sample project here with a couple screens that have been designed. Uh, what I want to do is go to prototype mode. I've got a couple buttons linked up just for a little basic stuff. Um, one thing you want to do is make sure you've chosen by clicking this blue tab. Um, actually, I don't want both of these. Um, what's going to be the start page? And you see you can name those. Um, this is one's called Flow One. Um, I believe you can, let's see, you can go in and change that if you want, but whatever you want to be, but just make sure that this is where you're going to be starting off of for that flow. Then you want to go to share. And um, I've already done it once it says update, but the first time you do it, I think it says create link rather than update link. Um, it, you can just leave this on design review. It doesn't really matter because it uh, the, the embedded prototype comes in a little bit differently than some of these other options. Um, you want to make sure that it's set to anyone with the link. So this has to be a public link for this to work on Behance. Now, there are two things you can do here. One is you can just take this link right here that it creates for you after you hit create link. Um, hit the little chain here. And let's go back to the browser. If you open up a prototype this way, so this would be like if you had in Behance, you just had a text link, you know, like you click it, like any link that you'd go anywhere, you could just include this link off to here and you could direct the user over to here. And this way they can actually leave comments. You've got a little bit more controls. Um, if you use one of the other share features like for coders or, you know, there's, you can see some of this kind of stuff um, if you give them this link. But we want to embed this prototype so that someone can use it and check it out, like right inside of Behance. Um, so what you do in this case is after you've created the link, there's a little uh, brackets and a slash as little code button. And if it says copy embed code. If you click that, it copies a bunch of code that you can then use over in Behance. So let me go back to Behance. And any of the um, stuff, I have a different video if you want to uh, learn how to create these Behance pages and use text and things like that. But I've already got the project going and I'm just gonna go down here and insert some media at the end of it. Now there's that same little icon there with the brackets and the slash for code and you click that and then it just has a box that you can paste in uh, embed code from all these different services. And it tells you some of these things that you can pull from like even YouTube, Spotify, Vimeo, some different things. So let me just paste that code that I got. And I don't really have to do much anything to it. Now you can, if you want to mess with the sizes, you can adjust the height and width of that stuff there. Um, but let me just hit embed. Now you'll notice, and I noticed this the first time I did this in XD, it's like there's all of this margin. It's a ridiculous amount of margin. I don't know why it comes in uh, stretched out like that, but um, there's this little button here with two arrows pointing in, and what that does is brings it back down to the size it should be. Um, so just hit that, and, and then this is added in. So let's view a preview of what our site looks like now. And at the bottom is the way you see this is you'll see kind of the background image of whatever you designed for that home page, that first page. And then there'll be this gray box with this icon thing you can click on that says click to launch. Now, as far as I know, you can't really get rid of that. You're just kind of stuck with that. And that's how, how they set it up to work. Um, but what you want to do is then the person can click to launch. 
and it opens this up in kind of a light box. And now you can do, you, if there's any animation, um, if there's interactivity, all this is gonna work uh, inside of the browser here. You're still on the Behance, so you're not off on a separate page like we saw the other way. But I can click on the buttons, I can go back and forth and you see the animation and all that kind of stuff. And then if you just hit um, hit X, it closes it and then you're back right back in that Behance page. So that's that's uh, pretty cool and a good way to uh, really ideal way to show off XD projects in Behance because typically you would have like some information about your project and you know what colors you use or some screenshots and things like that. But then it'd be good to throw in um, you know some click and let them actually use it and and see how how you did on it. Obviously, um, some other things you could do with uh, XD is you might be able to do some kind of screen capture or actually within the uh, when you're in prototype mode, if you hit play, there's actually a little record button up here. And if you hit that, um, that's going to save this off when I'm done doing my prototype. You can see like a little finger button there. Um, and when you're done, you hit close. And then that's going to ask you where to save the file. And so you can save this wherever and you get this MP4 file. Now you could put that video. Um, let's see, let's just go ahead and do it. Um, right into your Behance page as well. Now the only difference with this though is then you're not giving the user the ability to, to use it, to access it. So really depending on what your goals are and what you want your user to do or not do. Um, will be the case, but let's um, insert media. Um, let's see, there's a, you can uh, I click the photo, but that allows you to do video too, I believe. And so that'll just plug that in. Um, you could also uh, have that uploaded to YouTube and you could embed YouTube, which we'll uh, cover here uh, next. So this is like converting and, and that'll be ready to show as a video. Now you could also, Perhaps like if you had a really short clip, you could convert that to an animated GIF and then it would just play by itself and you would see animation on your page. One thing to be careful with that is your file sizes can get gar, gar, gig, gig, very gigantic um, before, you know, with the animated GIF file, if you're doing anything that has like a lot of frames, it can get really, really big. So that, you know, you might be able to show a little clip of something, a little animation of something that route. And it is nice that it'll just play in loop and you don't have to hit play to see it. But like I said, it's it's uh, creates some pretty big files. So you gotta be super careful with that. All right, so let's look at embedding a YouTube. This is really easy to do. Um, let's go to YouTube. And this is just some video that I found. Um, we're probably talking about your, something that you've uploaded to your thing. So you go to your video and you can do this to any video. It doesn't have to be yours necessarily, but um, unless they've blocked it or changed settings so people can't embed, which I think is a possibility. Um, but pretty much on any video, look for the share button and you've got these little brackets here and hit it that say embed, click on that. Here's your code, um, click it, hit copy. And there's a couple options, you can't do a whole lot, but you know, if you wanna see the player controls or not. So um, you got that and then you go back to your Behance and we hit this embed code button again. You can just paste that code YouTube gave you. And again, if you wanna mess with the sizes, you can do that. Just be careful not to change the size out of proportion. Um, hit embed and now we have this uh, video. And again, you might, this is defaulting to like a full width um, if you want to shorten that down, um, you can just hit those double arrows and you'll have it smaller. And you can integrate this with, you know, whatever else that you're bringing into Behance as well and kind of organizing and laying out pages, how you, your page, how you want here. So there's your um, YouTube video and that'll just, you know, they can hit play and go full screen and all that kind of stuff that you would see in a typical YouTube video. Let me show you the... Um, the Sketchfab here, which is the last one. So Sketchfab is a really cool website where you can upload your 3D models. And um, it's kind of like the YouTube of 3D. So you can upload your own work. There's a ton of, oh, I love this donut vending machine. That's really cool. Why don't we add this one? Um, but it's kind of like the YouTube. So you can go to explore and see all these different categories. You can see other people's work. And just like YouTube, most of these, unless they've blocked it, are gonna have like this embed code button here. And so I'm going to hit embed. 
maybe has to load here first. So this code's a little bit longer and they actually give you the option of, of adjusting the size right here. So if you want something smaller, bigger, whatever, you can adjust that here and it'll give you the right code. Um, also, there's a few options here, whether you want it on a turntable or textures, dark appearance, auto start, those kinds of things. So these can animate as well. Uh, so let me copy that code, go back to Behance, go to the bottom here, hit the code button, paste the code in, embed, and then you have your, again, like if you want to change the size up or make it full screen, you can go either way. And then you can um, hit play and it's going to load it up. And what just what's great about it is that, again, you have that painting orbiting, like you can look at it and give the user control over looking at it, which I think is better than just, um, you know, having a couple different screenshots. I like this because it kind of uses the Dunkin' Donut font, right? And then also I've seen this uh, stock graphic before. So that's pretty fun. That's a cool little, I, don't, I want one of these in my office. That'd be great. And uh, yeah, so that's embedding stuff in your Behance. Hopefully that'll help you show off your projects a little better. Uh, have fun with it.